So you wanna know how a solar and battery backup system works for your home. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through a solar and battery storage system, teaching you about all the major components that go into the system and how they work together to deliver secure electricity for your home. All right, so in today's video, we're talking about a solar and battery backup system. Now, why would you want to install a solar and battery backup system? Very simply, a solar and battery backup system is going to be your most secure, renewable emergency power supply. And the reason is because the solar panels can power the house directly, even if the grid is down. They can be charging batteries simultaneously to powering the house. And then during evening hours, you can run the house off of stored energy inside the batteries. Then the next day, the solar panels take over, powering the house and recharging the batteries. And you can repeat that cycle as many times as you need, even weeks, months, or years at a time. And so for that reason, many people, myself included, consider a solar and battery backup system the most secure emergency power supply. Now, when we talk about a solar power and battery backup system, uh, the system includes a few main components. Of course, you have your solar panel array. These are going to convert sunlight into electricity. And then you're gonna have a solar inverter. And what the solar inverter does is it converts direct current DC electricity, which is natively what comes off of solar panels is direct current. Uh, it converts it into high voltage alternating current or AC electricity, which is what our homes are wired for and what the electric grid is wired for. So the electricity has to flow through an inverter before it is usable by the home. Now, when you add a battery backup system, you have two other components. You'll have your battery, or it could be an array of batteries, a bank of batteries. And then you also have what's called a gateway or a transfer switch. For those of you old electricians and contractors out there, what we used to call the transfer switch, if you were talking about a generator home backup, now they call them gateways or system controllers. But they basically do the same function. They allow the, the house to isolate from the electric grid in the event of a blackout. The house can disconnect from the electric grid but still allow solar and batteries to energize loads within the house so that you have your secure power supply. But unlike traditional generator transfer switches where you just have grid power or generator power, modern solar and battery backup gateways allow you to integrate up to four or five different power sources. So typically you have grid power, you have solar power, you have battery power, you could have a generator hookup option as well. Uh, and some of the newer gateways even allow you to connect an electric vehicle. And one of the technologies that's being developed right now is bi-directional electric vehicle charging. So not only can you charge your electric vehicle from solar, uh, but in some cases you can actually pull energy out of your electric vehicle battery to provide backup power to the house. So the vehicle just becomes an, an, another battery connected to the system. So modern solar battery backup systems and their gateways allow you to integrate different power Power sources. And then another thing that a lot of the systems will incorporate is some sort of smart circuit control or intelligent load control. And so the way intelligent load control works is, let's say you're running in a backup power mode and maybe it's evening hours, so you're running off the battery only, there's no solar coming in to help. Well, in this case, you may not wanna run everything in the house because it may draw the battery down too fast. So there might be certain high draw but low priority items that could be smartly or automatically powered off. Think things like electric water heaters or clothes dryers, or maybe your electric stove or oven. Although th these are nice to have items, they're not necessarily critical in an emergency situation. And so by turning some of those items off, it could stretch your battery runtime so you can keep the refrigerator, the lights, or even the air conditioner uh, those more critical items powered on. I know many of you that are watching in southern uh, states, you, you consider the air conditioning to be a critical appliance. Well, if we power off the clothes dryer and the water heater, you can oftentimes get more running time on your air conditioner. So having some sort of smart circuit control or intelligent load control is one of the components that really leads to a, a successful overall whole house battery backup implementation, which is a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Franklin Whole Home Battery. The Franklin Whole Home Battery System is the system that I use most frequently for my clients that want solar with whole house backup because it includes high power rating, high storage capacity, a generator hookup option, and the automatic smart circuit controls. 
So it allows you to design a system that's going to meet the needs of the entire home in terms of backup power, but still give the owner more flexibility and control of not necessarily having to run everything in the house at the same time so that you can maximize battery life. Now, the other option that I mentioned is the generator hookup option. And although the generator has got some disadvantages to the battery backup system, for those of you who are looking for maximum redundancy, or maybe you're in a 100% off-grid environment, I do recommend having a generator hookup option with your solar and battery backup system. That way, if you run into a patch of bad weather and the solar panels are not able to keep up with recharging the battery because the solar is just not producing the way it would if you had full sunlight, you have the option to run the generator, not, not to run the generator full time, but just fire up the generator for three or four hours, let it power the house and bring your batteries back full, and then you can go for running another one or two days off the solar and battery system. So again, for maximum redundancy, I th think having that generator hookup option makes the most sense. Again, if you're off grid completely or if you're preparing to survive a prolonged grid down event, having a battery backup system with a generator hookup option is highly recommended. So this has been a brief introduction to solar and battery backup systems. Uh, by the way, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and on your feed so you can stay up to date with us. I'd like to thank Franklin Home Power for supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. Now, if you're a homeowner and you're looking at different solar and battery backup options for your home, if you need to get a price quote for the Franklin system or, or frankly, any of the other leading home battery backup systems, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to, to us on the link below there, uh, set up a call with a solar expert, uh, or just use our free online quote tool to find out how much solar and battery backup costs in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.